taking part engine because it's roached taking part engine feeling good about it so it's a song inside my head everybody it's a song inside my head what's going on youtube my name is diesel and today we're back car mechanic simulator 2018 baby just hanging out here taking apart of it ohv engine as we do as we do because we deal with power here here in diesel mechanic shop when we're not turning our shop into a meineke Trying to get those sweet, sweet loot boxes. We do restorations as well. Restorations of fantastic mods. Oh, looks like you. Got, oh, looks like looks like you got a little thing going on there. I can't take you out. What's going on? Thought I got. Thought I got all the rod caps. Looks like I forgot one. Missed one. Good stuff. Just taking apart this uh, V8 OHV engine, which we have taken out of a mod that was made by Mr. Gollywog. Oh, yeah. It's a 1977 Holden Tirana. Hold on, we have to... Uh, uh, moment of silence, y'all. For the Holden Company in Australia. Dearly Bilotti, we are gathered here today to pay respects to Holden for their stopping production of their cars in 2017 in Australia. I want to silence. Goodness, Lord of mercy. So, yep, uh, Holden has stopped production of all their cars in 2017, so no more of those beautiful utes. I'm not sure what company's going to take over there. Maybe it'll leave a little space open for maybe a new company to come in and uh, say hi. Make some new cars. But no more Holdens, boo. Boo, boo, boo. So that's why we're going to take this one apart. And we're going to do a little peat block action going on for Mr. Gollywog. The link is actually, uh, if you want to download this particular mod and have this hat for yourself, you can hop into our Discord channel. Link is in the description down below. And there is a CMS mods section. Download those mods. Download them away if you like. If you like. If it so pleases you, my friends. But we got to take this thing apart. Because, we got to make it look sexy again. We're going to make it look sexy again. Make Holden sexy again. Now, I also have uh, two other Holdens that are in my garage. We, have, we got ourselves a Ute Commodore. Or a Ute Commander. Commodore? Commander? Commodore? Commander? I don't want to get it wrong. Otherwise, people will get angry. <laughs> get so mad. Uh, let's see. We're taking apart everything here. And we also have a... Uh, oh, see, there's... The new, new pieces are added. Oh, I'll take you off. I'll take that off right now. I was just testing it out to see what it looked like. Don't worry, I'll put it back. I'll put it back, everybody. It'll just chill out. Come on, engine block, my man. Oh, that, that didn't sound too good. All right, so we're gonna need to get ourselves some pieces, some Reese's pieces. Valve, valve stem, push rods. At 16 of these joints. Tell you what, let's get the uh, power boosting up first. Uh, gonna need two of these Johns here. Boom, boom, boom. So V8 OHV, yes. Need one of you alternator, yes. Good, 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 good. Um, I believe this has a two. This is a two carb filter, which I don't think that they show here. Not that they don't show it, they just don't have it, they don't make it. Not in this game anyway. Not in this game anyway. No sir. No. Wrong! Let's go ahead and we'll grab two of you. The two utes. Excuse me, did you say utes? Yeah, the two utes. We gotta get a fuel pump as well. Ah, uh, what else can we get? What else can we get? What, 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 what else can we get here? Uh, 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 uh. Let's go ahead and get a distributor cap, ignition distributor. We're going to need those. Get the rotor as well. Get some wires get going on here. Ooh, intake manifold, two carb. I'll take you. We'll take some pistons with cone rods. Oh, two carb filter right there. Power steering V8. Everything's coming together, folks. Everything's coming together. I'm sure we're going to need a muffler system. I haven't put that on just yet, so we'll get to that in a second. Throttles, throttles. Who's got the throttle? No turbos. Nine. None cut. Nyet. No way. 
All right, so valve stems with some rocker, get some rocker arms. Go ahead, we'll get 16 of those. That's 18. And that's way too many. Um, let's go ahead and get ourselves a pull it, baby. A water pump, too. V A O H V. Uh, let's see, what else do I need? Uh, we got covers. Go to the engine cover. Can I get a V8 OHV engine? Oh, no, no, that's a V6. That's incorrect. <laughs> uh, let's get some rod caps. Let's get some rad caps going on here. We need eight of these joints. And don't forget the camshaft. Don't forget the camshaft stuff. Let's get the V8 OHV. Yeah. Boom. But we also need some camshaft bearing caps. Uh. Crankshaft, that's what we need. Third, crankshaft bearing cap. We're gonna need three of those. Boom. Uh, water pump, 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 pump it up. I think we may have fixed that one. So I think we're gonna be okay for right now. Let's go ahead and we'll start piecing this joint together. Yeah, man, it's a shame. Oh, oh. we have to get the ignition coil. Hold up, hold up. Hey, we need ignition coil right here. Here with the ignition coil be we gon' put it up. High power output. Oh, this thing must be super powerful. Okay. Cam shaft and nope, 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 nope. Yes. 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 V8 OHP. Pop you in there. And the timing chain. Timing chains never go. It was we never fix we never fix those dang timing chains. Those dang diamond chains. Damn it, boy. Ooh, come on. Don't, don't, don't. Don't get squirrely with me now. Fuel filter, timing cover, beautiful. She is fixable, everyone. We can fix her. We can make her stronger, faster, better. Oh, we need piston rings. Pistones, piston rings, piston rings. Need eight of you. Well, you are sexy. You are necessary. Ow. Good, good, good. All right, and we'll flip this thing upside down. We're gonna. Oh, we gotta get the uh, oil pan and get an oil filter as well. Spin it around. So yes, the uh, Holden mod is made by Gollywog, and the uh, delivery that I'm going to use is made by Mr. French Toast, who's also someone who is posting up a bunch of his deliveries, uh, race deliveries as well, which is another chat in the uh, Discord channel if you feel the need to hop on in. We got uh, Car Mechanic Simulator mods, we have livery section, and of course, banners that people are posting up in their shops, and they're just showcasing up all their work. And it's a place for all of you creative, lovely types to come on in and say hi. Just don't bother all the models too much because then they get angry and then they're like, hey, can we ban some people? I'm like, no, no. Can't ban them. This is what you, this is what you wanted. No. Um, but no, just don't bug them. Then they get antsy. They get antsy and they start getting angry. They'll help out. They'll help a brother out. They'll help a brother and or a sister out. They will. They'll do their best. But when the questions just keep on coming, that's when people, even myself, can start getting aggravated. And then I just, then I start drinking and striking my wife. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Drinking, yes. But, today's going to be a heavy day. Heavy, heavy day. The afternoon is filled with football football fan. I'm a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan, so you know I'll be drinking heavy, heavy, bite. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll get some oil pan action going on. Let's grab a filter and then a oil pan, baby. But yeah, so. Yeah, man. I was actually uh, bummed out. A lot of people that were bummed out that uh, Holden's no longer making cars. Not going to make any cars inside of Australia. I'm not sure if they're going to be keeping production up. I mean... 
They say that they're, I mean, predominantly a, uh, an Australian company. I mean, there's no Holdens in America unless they're imported in America here. So, not for certain what's going on. You know, Holdens has been around since like 1865, man. When they first uh, started a company, they were first saddle makers. When they started making uh, saddles for your horses. For all the prisoners over there in Australia. Look it up, this is actually a prison camp. Um, it turned into a, a very uh, high society. Australian people are dope. I've met a few in my life, but then uh, I hear a couple of uh, people that uh, travel over to Australia. They say it's wonderful. They say that they would love to live there, and I agree. Just the only problem with it is that everything in Australia can kill you. That bums me out. That part, that part bums me out. But, there we go. That's, that's the correct one that we need there. People, beautiful people. Clip 8, what am I doing? Well, yeah, Holden used to be a uh, saddle company, and then they turned to a car manufacturer in, like, 1908? I believe. 1908, 1910-ish, in that range, in that area. Started ripping out cars, man. Having themselves a good old time. But not anymore. Not anymore, dearly Bilotti. Not anymore. I was always a fan of the Utes. Kind of like the, uh... Because I was always a fan of uh, Bratz and uh, El Caminos. Be like part car, part truck. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh shoot, somebody's got to, somebody's got to come out with that in America. I mean, they in America they tried to, uh, they tried to like uh, when like Fast and the Furious started coming out, car companies started making kind of cooler looking, kind of street vehicle cars, but still, um, like the Ute, the whole Ute is. Like a, it looks kind of like a lowrider truck. But let's not get crazy. It looks like a, a truck that got lowered. It's got a bed in it. It almost looks like it's a Corolla with the back end taken out and uh, scoop out, and you got got yourself a little truck engine, a little area for, area to throw in. It's business in the front, party in the rear. You know what I'm saying? It's the mullet. It's the mullet of cars. Thank you. Thank you, Alarm. For those of you who are watching and you think that right now, um, if you didn't set your uh, clocks back an hour, figure it out. Figure out if you did or not. Because Daylight Savings, she is over. We fall back an hour, which means we get an extra hour of sleep every single day. Yay! Yay, everyone, we get sleep. Yay! Everyone rejoice. Not sure how it is for other countries, but in America, it is kind of a big thing. I don't say it's a big thing, it's the thing. If you don't do it, there's so many, so many people that show up either late. It's usually when we go forward. When people forget to set their clocks forward, they end up being late. Like, so then you gotta give people leeway, like, alright, you didn't know. You should know. But it happens. It's usually the irresponsible people that are always, that are always, uh, oh shoot. What do you mean the clocks? We push them forward. Yeah, we push the clocks forward. You're late. And you're an hour late today to work. Oh man, I completely forgot. You know your iPhones just automatically update, right? I see you have an iPhone there, and like it automatically updates. Do you have an alarm clock? Who has an alarm clock nowadays? That they sit next to their beds. Who has an alarm clock that doesn't automatically update? I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too much into the future, man. Too much into the future. I still got a wind em up clock. Goes ring. What? You got a mechanical clock? This wind up? You gotta set the you gotta set the time every single night. Where are you from? The eighties? Even the eighties had didn't have no mechanical clocks going on there. You lie, you fibbing. You got an iPhone. I can see it right there in your hand. It updates. But you gotta give them leeway. You gotta give them leeway. Oh for one day. Does it again the next day. Excuse me, I'm gonna need you to sign this. What's this? Uh, it's me writing you up. Sorry. Set the clock. You know better. You're an American. Alright. Let's get those performance carburetors going on here, baby. Boom. 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 Nate. Nate, we don't have these parts. 
That's nice. That's super duper nice. Do we have performance parts that have the covers? Just I'm asking for a friend. Uh, let's see. I don't see why you why they would. Just make it nice and shinier looking. Just make it nice and shiny, you know? It'll be super duper nice, super duper shiny. Air filter. Just type in air filter. Hey, alright. Two carb. I see that that one's there. Just want to make sure that... Yeah, there we go. That's the one we're going to need right there. Alright. Performance. Out. Boom. And she is done. No, she is not. Because we don't have any belts. It's going to be kind of hard. To move anything without belts. Serpentine. Serpentine. Shotgun. Shotgun. Uh, serpentine belt. No, 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 no. V8 OHV. Boom. So one thing about the V8 OHVs that I enjoy more than the V8s, there's not so many idler pulleys. And, oh, I've got the fan. There's two... Yeah, there's two pulleys, alternator, power steering, coughing still. Still have a little bit of cough. It's finally subsiding, but in the morning, it's the worst. Throughout the day, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. She's pretty now. She's going, we're going to put you back on there. Take it off engine, then we'll throw you in. No, we're not pulling it out, even though our pull out game is strong. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll move you over there. Boom. Now you're pretty. All right, let's go ahead and we'll put in the brake servo. Does it fix? It is. Aha, it's fixed, yeah. Yeah, it's a fair thing. Radiator C. C. Radiator C. Radiator C. It's looking good and feeling good, my friends. Let's go and grab the detailing kit, yes. Pop it over there. I'm gonna sing in mood today. Quite festive. Boom. All right. Got to put in the battery. Install the battery. Install the battery. You know, it's weird. Like this is a brand. Like we recharged it, but because. I guess it's older. It has the rust along with it. I never noticed that. Let me see something. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. If not, we'll have an extra battery, you know, because things could be worse. Ah, okay. I just think it needs to be something where we, uh, Make it all nice and yes, pretty again. There we go. Now you're now you're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. I still have not had the repair all parts mod, so it looks like we're gonna have to just do it the old-fashioned way and purchase everything. Uh, let's go ahead and boop. I boop your nose. Boop, Torana. Or oil cooler. Hmm. Huh. Why? Huh. Engine cover. Whatever that means. You know, it's rather reasonable. Look at this fender. A lot of parts, though, man. Seems to be a lot of parts there, brother. Got a left headlight. Got a left headlight B. Aggressive. Left headlight C. Well, now we gotta check all of them. We gotta check out all the different pieces. Except for the fenders. The fenders, we're gonna get the tiny ones. And the little guys. 
just gonna get the widow cards. I got money to spend, you know. I got money to spend for you, for all of you. You gotta check it out, you know. Otherwise, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, that looks nice. Now, here's the left fender, which we already have. Oh, that's right. I already have two of them. Now, the difference between this left fender and, say, like, the other... There's another left fender. Uh, hatchback front left fender. So we have this one here, and then we can purchase this one as well. So let's show you what the difference is. The difference is very slight, but it is there. This one is more of a flat. It's got, a, you know, it's got the, it's got the, the effects going on there. So a wide body ish esque roundabouts. If we take this off here, and we put on the B, it has a little bit more of a length to it. it has a flare going on there. It gets a little bit wider, whereas I get the other ones get pushed in just maybe like a couple inches, inch and a half, something like that. Now, here's something I am interested to see. What's the B one? Okay, so we got that going on. What's the invisible one? GTX! Right. Can I... What the hell? Uh-oh. Can't take it out. Help. Oh, Mr. Gollywog. It's like uh, I can't put it in. Well, that's not good. Alright, so we got the front end B for the cooler. For oil cooler. Okay. Got the bumper. And then we have the bumper B. B. Oh. That's fancy. See, it wouldn't be so bad, but like when you go away, like you get close to it, and you put it into assemble mode. And the headlights get a little flaky. Oh. Oh, come on, son. Yeah, it doesn't let me select the, uh... Doesn't let me select the headlight, bruh. doesn't allow me to take it out. It's like it doesn't exist. And I can see through everything. Oh well. Well, sometimes things have problems. Sometimes things just need a little help, that's all. Just need a little help. See, I can't even select that. That's a bummer, man. That's a real bummer. Alright. Come on. Front window two. Oh, we got tinted Jones. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice right there, sir. That is what I'm talking about. That's the bees and knees. That's the cat's meow. Come here. Get the windows. Hold on here. What's the difference between front right window two? I don't know. Like, I don't... Got that part. There's two windows. Right door window. Right door hatchback. Oh, okay, so one's tinted and one's not. Oh. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to have to tint this out, sir. Yeah, tinted, please. Thank you. Word. Gonna tint these jaws out here, sir. It's hot out here in Australia. We need the shade as much as we can. Oh yeah. Bumper B. Um, of course, bumper B. We got the frame inside there. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Now, engine cover. Oh, look at that. Oh, it adds the. Oh, okay, it adds the extensions and make it a little wider. A little. Oh, okay. Fancy. Now, how did I miss all of those? 
rear left to Oh. Mr. Gollywog! Help! Uh, let's see. Hatchback window door front left. Right, 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 right. Trunk. Engine cover. Maybe I missed one. Front left. Front window. Nope, nope. Trunk window. Let me just see here. Front right door, front left win door window. Hatchback door front left, front, front. Let's see, window door rear left, two. I'll purchase it again, just in case. But it looks like this bolt's got a little bit of a problem, too. It's no bueno, sir. It's no bueno. My goodness, sir. He updated like Golly Wog, you said you updated this too. You updated it. Say so I updated it twice. How dare you? Alright. So we got no rear left window and now no front left window. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Got a left headlight that's out. Everything else seems to be pretty nice. I mean, everything else is nice. Let's go ahead and we'll grab the tablet. Interior shop. I'm going to actually keep this anyway, so if for some reason he updates it again, which he's going to have to, um, we'll have it. Now, do we put race buckets in there? See, it doesn't put the, uh, the normal seats in there. They have a very casual feel looking. Let's see here. Let me show you. Um, normal. There we go. They're very casual looking bucket seats. Mazda seats, huh? RX3? You know what? If that's what's going to go in there, then that's what we put in there. RX3. Mazda. Put two of those joints in there. And... Get something sexy. Get some off road joint. That looks fine. Boom. A boom. Boom. Stop it. Stop it, Doctor. Doctor. Got the frame. I'm just gonna try one more thing here. Okay. Left mirror. Yeah, I can't put the left window in there. And our rear left window is a no bueno. Okay, so let's go ahead. No, no, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're silly. You're like silly. Why do you keep on not letting me? There. Return. There we go. Finally, I can return you. Ugh. All right. So, definitely need some tires. We got all four of our Rams are fancy. They're oh so fancy. Let's go ahead and we'll grab our wheels. What kind of wheels do we have here? 225, 80, 225, 65, 65, 14. 225, 65, 14. Vintage tires. Vintage tires. 225, 65, 14. Boom. 25, 65, 14. Boom, please, sir. I say, I say, I say, please, sir. Boom. This will be fun. Oh, you see that too? On the bottom? Hold it. Nice. Oh, super duper nice, guys. Take you. Install. Drop it like it's hot. You will make sure that you're all kinds of pretty too. Balance you out. We're so close to level 50, sir. 
So close. One more repair job and we should be A-OK. -okay. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Which reminds me, we also have to get our uh, exhaust system taken care of as well. Oh. Let's go ahead and lift this up. You raise me here. Grab you. Come on, tires. Come on, cow. Boom. Eh. That sound like uh, aliens from Mars Attacks. Uh, Holden. Whenever uh, me and my buddies used to buy weed from our weed dealer, we would ask, "Hey man, are you Holden McNeely? Because are like, are you holding?" I think it was a character. I forget one movie. There's a guy. His name's Holden McNeely. So whenever we would uh, go and buy marijuana. Back in the day. Like, hey man, are you holding? Are you holding McNeely? Yeah man, I'm holding. Cool, bro. Little slang for everybody. Little 90s slang. Little 90s Pennsylvania slang. For please, sir. Alright, so we're gonna get some performance pads here. Get some little exhaust system. So we already bought the fuel. Uh, we're gonna have to check out to see. Let's go ahead and start installing a tag. Do that a while. And we're gonna need a V8, two V8 OHVs. We're gonna need middle mufflers, catalytic converters, all kinds of doodads, whatnots, and such and such. So, let's see here. Two middle mufflers, two V8 OHV muffler pipes, tailpipes, uh, catalytic converters. I know we have you. Cata. Nope, not with the not with the slash, sir. Cata. Da 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 da. I I I. Uh, boom. And vintage tie, humble tie. Excellent. Excellent, Smith. Excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Good, 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 good. Come on. There we go. Alright. So, we get the clutch release. Oh, I forgot to get the clutch release plate, eh? Oh, do that now. Alright. Clutch. We're also going to need a starter. Stata. V8 starter. Front exhaust V8 OHV B. Aggressive. B, B, aggressive. Oh. V8 OHV. It's a no bueno. It's a no bueno, sir. Fine, fine, fine. Exhaust. V8 OHV. B. B, 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 B. Two of you. Boom. Boom. Let's put the gearbox on and then drive shaft. And then we'll take this, put some oil in this thing, take it over the dyno, see how well it runs. And then keep it. Because it's not complete yet. Once it's complete, I'll bring it back out and we will see. Oh, no, that's. No. It's not what I wanted. There we go. Middle muffler. There we go. We gotta look at the shiny. We had the performance part on from last episode. I don't want that. Not just yet. And thank you so much for all the comments in the comment section down below as well, letting me know what the uh, performance parts, what they do. I'm like, if it's a quality part, what exactly does it do? It ups the quality and then makes the car more expensive, but it doesn't boost your performance rating, which is weird. Because I, I see what he's saying. I see what you're saying. I see what you're talking about. But I don't like it. And mostly because... Uh, well, I'll tell you what, man. This thing was baller. This thing was pretty bad ace. It was just complete. Uh, 
That is pretty nifty. I like it. I like it a lot. We gotta put some license plates on this joint. Alright. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And we'll move you to the paint shop. Go ahead, girl. Don't you stop. Oh, let's go ahead and check out the delivery. Drop you down. Good. Alright, so. Richard's Brock. Ho, 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 ho. That's nice. No saturation. We do metallic, matte, pearl, Ooh. chameleon, to pearl. I locks you. We shall paint you. We shall paint you, my friend. Oh, yeah. Mm mm. I'm digging it, baby. I'm digging it, man. I'm digging it. Let's go ahead and we'll take this and we'll move it over to the dyno. Cannot start the engine. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hold on. Hold up. What do you mean you can't start the engine? I put oil in you. What did I forget? What have I... What have I forgotten? Yeah, rear left door window. Uh-huh. Fuel pump. Oh! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> ha mm, Hold on. Always forget something. Always forget something, folks. <sighs> Never a dull moment. This is pretty fly, though. There you are. Performance part. And now we're golden. Alright. Let's move this car over to the dyno. Shut you up. Oh, yeah. That is all kinds of sexy right there, man. I like you. I like you. You're looking good. You're looking good. Beautiful. It's beautiful, man. Proceed with the dino test? Yes, sir. Let's do this. Like Brutus. go. Doubling the horsepower. Well, almost doubling it. Coming close to doubling it. And the torque. Very good. Very good indeed. Very nice indeed. Now let's go see how this uh, bad boy runs. Now the pieces, of course, uh, make it incomplete. So uh, as far as giving you a valid uh, price tag on what this thing would cost, I think I bought it for about seven grand, all roached out in the junkyard. So if I do want to sell it, it'll be a moderate profit, an okay profit, like a Jane Silent Bob profit. It does look pretty fancy, though. I will give it that. Even though it's missing a even though it's missing a headlight and the entire left hand side of its windows. But why harp on it? We're grown ups. Oh yeah. These made his wheels, sir. Yeehaw! I'm all over the joint. I love it. See, he's into it. Oh, yeah. It won't let me stay straight. It's the wheels, the tires, the tires. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a smoke machine, baby. 
It's a drip, it's a drip machine, baby. We're tinted out, ready to rock and roll out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Love it. Can I do a perfect donut though? It can. Oh yeah. And we out. I'm out. I'm out of like Bobaudi. Yeah. Spin around. Let's do this. Doing tricks. Trick nasty. Awesome. <laughs> It is super badass. The uh, extra parts, performance parts on it, like in the, uh, the modified parts, put it that way, uh, added in the front, add that little extra fancy to it. I do love the tinted windows. The left, the left hand side though does kind of bum me out, but you know what? It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt my soul. I like the back end of the Holden showed in the back underneath the fuel tank. It's awesome. It's a well done job. Just need to fix the left hand side. That's all. No big deal though. Ain't no big thing, chicken wing. No one's saying. I see. I see it was. I've seen much worse. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've seen worse. I've been given some some uh, mods from people who have just started modding. I'm like, what do you think? I'm like, ah, uh, it's a good first try. It's a good first try. You do it. You know what? You do it good. You do it just fine. Where did the car go? Oh, the car's over here. Hold on. So it allows me to purchase the parts for the left-hand side and purchase the uh, windows. Actually, this left window, I just want to see. I'm, I hate harping on this. I really do. But I just need to be sure. But Toronto. It's definitely the left rear. I bought that twice. It doesn't, uh, doesn't recognize it. And the front door left... Window front left two. Like it doesn't even let me assign it. Like I can't even put something in there. You know what I mean? Like it won't even recognize that I'm hovering over top of it. Front and left door. The door it recognizes, but the window, no, not so much. And this tail light, uh, front. I'm sorry, uh, headlight. I have a feeling. Oh, oh, well, hey now. That just clicked into play. That just clicked into play for everybody. All right. So that part's fixed. And we haven't put a license plate on it yet, but we'll definitely put an Australian license plate on here. But yeah, I just want to see one last time. Maybe it was a glitch. Nope, does not allow me to put on the windows. What is this? Hmm. No big thing. It's gonna be just fine. It's gonna be just fine. Let's go ahead and move it out of the test path of the dyno. And it's all set and ready and good to go. But folks, that's gonna be our episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Help us out the channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out, like shout y'all. And I will check you out right here again. In Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, baby. Next time, it, it is pretty sweet. It is pretty badass. I like it. Rest in peace, Holden. Rest in peace.